Beauty Beauty or Foodie Beauty, whatever the fuck your name is. You know, one of my subs, Old Sunshine, linked a video in my Discord. I kind of went over in the live stream of you walling your ass to the beach in Kuwait. Okay? The Persian Gulf. I've been to Kuwait. All y'all seen me. I've been all around Kuwait City. Did some time over there in Iraq. So I know all about the place over there. The reason why, and y'all, excuse me, I hear my son in the background. He's downstairs. He was lovely watching his tots. Um, the reason why I'm making this video, though, I just seen you do a mukbang about tacos. Ta ta taco, Taco Bell. You love Taco Bell. Okay, old Taco Bell. You love it. Your husband or boyfriend did a vlog with you coming down the escalator, I guess in the subway. I didn't watch the video, but the thumbnail of you coming down the escalator. Now, I, I'm not going to roast you like I just roast Emily Reed because y'all both are two and the same. Excuse me, but here's my thing. I've been noticing a trend with you, too. You are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger by the day, okay? And honestly, it is it's sickening, okay? It's it's very, very, how can I put this? It's, 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 it's going to be the end of you, too. See, I hate to say this, but fat-ass nigga Kato Avocado actually done lost a lot of weight. He's down to like 350 pounds. He still didn't lose about 200 of them fucking pounds, but, but, that fat fuck, he's doing mukbang still, but whatever he's doing when he ain't got the camera on doing mukbangs is actually slowly working. More than that, I've got on my next video. Uh, but here's the thing. See, everybody keep pushing this fat acceptance, this healthy at every size. Okay, listen, you're not healthy if you're fat. You're not healthy if you're anorexic. How you doing, Eugene Cooney? I hope you're doing well. And all you other anorexic bitches out there, put some in your fucking bones. Get there. Don't die. Sorry, Alan, he's still there from get there faster. Don't die at a young age. But don't be obese because obesity leads to premature death at a young age. Now, I don't understand why you guys think that doing mukbangs is going to be the biggest thing out there to do when it comes to revenue. YouTube are, is changing guidelines. Now, as of right now, a lot of your videos are still monetized. But YouTube has stress, and it might not happen until next year, but they did it this year. That there will be changes. It might not take effect. Usually changes like they don't take effect to like September or shit like that. But there are changes coming to where mukbang videos will be greatly demonetized or they won't be pushed by the algorithm because it promotes self bodily harm. You are ingesting way too many calories that your body needs to sustain life. Therefore, you put on weight. Because you're not burning off the excess calories that you don't need. Therefore, the body is storing it in the in, 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 in the uh, body as, you know, so contains fat and the adipose tissue or visceral fat, which is where your organs sit lies inside of your, your belly, inside of your stomach area where you can't see it. You don't want that. You don't want to be fat. I watched you waddle, breathing like you were sucking in soup, and then you sat down on the beach. Your husband went to the beach. You couldn't even walk no more. I seen you sitting up there. Your feet, your legs is as small as my arm, but your body is wide. You look like Dr. Eggman, Dr. Robotnik. Y'all guys ever play Sonic the Hitchhog 2 and, and, and 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, especially part 2, when you beat Robotnik, Right, and then he runs and hops into the big ass Robotnik machine. Right, that's how you look little legs, big round ass body. Dr. Eggman, it's sad, it's really fucking sad. At this motherfucker point that you that you that anyone that's fat, anyone that's doing mug bangs, anyone that thinks that craving stuffing food down your mouth at a at a sickening rate is attractive 
Now, I find it hard to believe that that skinny sand monkey, and I hate to be a racist, but because I, I can tell when a fucker is using someone for fucking money. See, that 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 fucking sand monkey over there, right? That's recording you. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Doing all that shit. That fucker don't love you. You have money. So he's going to eat your ass and eat your, your, your covered up walls down there and do every anything just to take your dough. Because it's facts. You don't have enough energy to, to please a real man. So you fall for the chump who looks like he's in shape just so you can take care of him like a sugar mama. And I have to applaud him. But that's what's going on. I'm going to call it what I said. Same thing with April, April Lauren. Her fucking husband in the military, I know for a fact, isn't just plowing that. And I'm proud of service. I know how it fucking works. Ain't no fucking way he's just plowing April. Because if he really cared for April, April won't be on this motherfucking platform all the time. Her ass will be losing fucking weight. She will really, she won't be on this platform. She, he'll be doing any and everything for her to get her ready to get into decent shape. Instead, she films and vlogs all the time. You rarely see him. He laying pipes somewhere else. That's just real. That's just real. He just keep April Lauren around because of the B uh, of, 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 of the BH and all that extra pay that military people get. You goddamn right. I'm a, I'm I'm just shooting straight bullets. So it's sad. It's sad that you obese motherfuckers thing. That go for obese men. Skinny women give it to you obese motherfuckers. It's because they want that dough. What can you do for them? You can't even get out of bed. They have to do every motherfucking goddamn thing. So if they have to push your stomach fat up and clean you to get your head or a hand job if you feel like you being in love, they're going to do it because you giving them this. Lose some fucking weight so you can be able to go outside and enjoy fucking life. It's sad. It's really fucking sad. And you sitting there stuffing Taco Bell down your mouth. You, I'm surprised you ain't eat no fall like you did last time I watched your ass a few months back. It's sad. It's fucking disgusting. And then you wonder why people are coming down the way they're coming down. I guess you, I, I, I guess y'all ain't been watching the news. But there's a lot of science coming out now. A lot more that's showing that being obese isn't, isn't the right thing. It's not. And, and being in erection isn't the right damn thing. And guess what? Just having a plant-based diet isn't the right thing. How you doing, vegan gains, you bitch? Yeah, that, it's, it's facts. It is facts. All five food groups. I really say all two food groups, but all five. Dairy, fruits, grain, protein, and, 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 and vegetables. But vegetables, grains, and fruits can all fall on the car. I'm like, and protein should be with dairy and stuff. It's like, it's whatever. That's that's not for me to decide. That's not for me to decide. Dairy should actually fall on the healthy fats. But at the end of the day, foodie beauty, it's just a matter of time. So I'm going to give you the same warning advice I just gave Emily Reed. And the rest of you fat motherfuckers need to heed the warning. Heed what I'm about to say. Please listen to what I'm about to say. You are running out of time. Time isn't on your fucking side. You're going to keep on eating and doing these mukbangs for the audience. Because there's a lot of people in your chat too, in your comment section, roasting your ass too. That you are going to croak from this. Y'all ain't seeing, y'all, are y'all seeing all these YouTubers dying from health reasons, from bodybuilders on down to interaction motherfuckers? Are y'all not following the news? I, I know, I know y'all have to. I know y'all have to see. I, 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 I find it hard to believe that you don't see the fucking news. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. And I don't wish death on no one, but you are rushing yourself up out of here. Find a reason to live. Sitting on your ass and eating and feeling sorry for being fat 
isn't a reason to live or to stuff your fucking mouth. It's not. It's not. Go out and really enjoy life. Here's a guy that has post-traumatic stress. I keep my life occupied with something so I won't live with the horrors of what goes on in my fucking mind from the combat zone. I, 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 or what I seen as a, as a teenager on 9-11, you know, fuckers jumping out of skyscrapers. Or the horrors of what we went through with COVID. People dying left to right, seeing bodies out in the morgue. Out in, 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 in trailers. Are you kidding me? So I keep my mind occupied with positivity. That's why I got into health and fitness. Find a reason to live. Do something for your fucking self. Instead of sitting there stuffing your mouth full of zebra case and brain. I got some little Debbie stuff downstairs, but I'm not eating a whole pack, a whole fucking 12 pack of brownies by my goddamn self a day. I may eat one of those every three or four fucking days. I eat one of those. I don't have oil. No more sugar for the fucking day. Period. And I try to give, go burn that back off so it won't be stored as extra fucking body fat. Come on, man. Get serious with your fucking self, beauty beauty. You another one. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just counting down. I'm just waiting. I am, I'm just waiting to, to get a notification or somebody going to tell me, hey, you know, beauty beauty done passed. Found her dead in Kuwait. Her boyfriend did. Yeah, and then after you, uh, you get put away or cream it, let's see if, if, if your boyfriend going to keep your channel alive, your legacy alive. Or you gonna go jump on the next big bitch? I wish you well, beauty beauty. I check back in with you in a few months too.